All right. So Ken and Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week, this segment, and just shares her garden insights input. She just inputs into my life, and then it <laughs> spreads over the airwaves to the audience, and we all become smarter, all because of my lovely bride. Yes. And her garden prowess. Um, I'm done. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> trying. You know, I'm just. I've got all my deadlines for 2022 coming up. So the magazines through through March are pretty much done because mm -hmm. magazines need a lot of lead time to right. get all the, the HD photos or mm -hmm. more expensive to print. January's in the can. So all the newspapers, they're all done. We, we've got one show left. What This is the last the show before, before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So next week we will actually air Christmas Day. This show, because we've got the airtime, might as well... Get it going. So welcome yeah. to Studio Lisa. Thank you. So it's been like a whirlwind week. We've been to many, many parties. It's kind of fun this year going back to parties because I don't think last year we did any parties. So it's definitely been fun going back to those and doing white elephant gift exchanges. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Listen, for the video <laughs> folks that are watching the vlog, yes, she's making faces. You can't hear quite hear that over the airwaves. You can't hear but, the sarcasm uh, over the yeah, airwaves. Yeah, I like white, white elephant gifts. It's kind of boring. As long as you you have your expe expectations so low mm -hmm. that uh, you just don't care what you get. So what was your favorite one? Well, <laughs> the favorite party or favorite gift? Favorite gift. My favorite gift. White elephant gift. White elephant gift was I got a handheld Mr. Microphone mm -hmm, we did. that I can take with the grandkids and we're going to have a ball with that. We're just going to go talk to each other, <laughs> sing, karaoke, uh, just have a ball with the, with the grandkids. So that's mm -hmm. the one that we had a uh, rotary had theirs what yep. was that Wednesday night at the mm -hmm. Prescott resort. There was a lot Which of people lovely. there. Mm -hmm. um, I just basically, and I was running the white elephant thing. You I were. said, pick up my white elephant gift and give it to the bartender, give it to the pianist, give it to, uh -huh. Give it to everyone else because I don't want it. And they <laughs> thought it was great after I had worked the tip jar for them all. Right. So we kind of got them tips and yeah. a gift. So mm -hmm. it worked out great. So my favorite one was this humongous Nerf gun. Yeah. That I forget which party we got it at. But yeah, I'm going to take that to the grandkids too. And I'm going to shoot the living daylights out. <laughs> <laughs> because they're always getting me with yeah. their nerf gun. So the secret is snag all the bullets because <laughs> you shoot them out. You need a pocket full. You need to start out full and have pockets full, and then uh, always have those nerf gun fights at the kids' house. Oh yeah, not at ours because you find nerf those little nerf bullets every Everywhere. place for hours. Yes. So uh, anyway. Yeah. So I figure this is my opportunity to get even with all the times they've shot me. <laughs> the year when i'm doing it i usually turn the lights out so it's oh. usually me and the kids it's if you turn the lights back on it's pure dark Ooh. nerf fights Ooh. so you get used to the dark yeah. you get you run around but they get chicken and they start turning back on going i wonder where he's at well, you're so, scary I and i come I i'm coming after you how dare you turn the lights on and shoot him in the forehead with a nerf ball <laughs> i know we're gonna get it's some fun people going what are you doing fun. doing good but it's it is fun. fun we have a ball with them they won't be here for christmas though that's no nope, we're going a couple of weeks afterwards mm -hmm. to go see them so yeah. but we are they're of that age where they need to enjoy their house yes. make christmas their Definitely. tradition so mm -hmm. and we're leaving them alone you just kind of let them do their thing and yeah. be fun to wake up and just see the presents under the yeah. tree remember that as a kid and we want that for our kids sure so anyway yes. enough about our our Christmas parties and kids and how we're doing our tradition. What about garden advice and how to inspire people to plant in the ice? I tell you, it gets really hard this time of year. <laughs> At the end of the year, especially. <laughs> you are because you're just like fried. But um, but yeah, you can still be out there garden. Oh, even yeah. though we had ice, the permafrost is like, do we even oh, have yeah. permafrost? It's already so, melted. Oh, yeah. Right. So yeah. you can still dig, which means you can still plant. Oh, yeah. Sure. Definitely. And there's some plants that just perform amazingly well, even in the frigid cold. You know what I noticed is like we keep a lot of hollies, mm -hmm. um, Alberta spruce. Yeah. Uh, some of the plants are kind of holiday ish. Mm -hmm. We keep them outside, mainly at the front. So they're inspiring right. people when they come in. Mm -hmm. They almost look better now. Yeah. 
after the cold than they right. do before the cold. I mean, they yeah. start to get brighter. The colors get deeper. The junipers start to get a, this turn grays and blues and silvers. Mm -hmm. They start to get some colors. The cotone aster looks, they get this blue and then, and then dark green color to them. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And the cold activates that and brings the color out in them. Mm -hmm. It makes them more dramatic. Oh, definitely. I mean, if, especially if you look at hollies and use, I mean, they easily go down the negative 20s, hey, minus 40 30. or something. I mean, Some we, crazy will, cold. we will hopefully never get that cold here. Oh, yeah. That's why we live in Prescott. <laughs> but, yeah. but especially the holly right now with the berries on them, uh, if you had them by your front door, that would just yeah. be so pretty for the holidays and the winter time. So, yeah, they do terrific. The yews do amazing in the cold. Uh, the Alberta spruce, which you mentioned, I mean, yeah. they're another one that goes like sub zero. Takes yeah, it and keeps on going. Even colder. Mm -hmm. I was helping a gal. She came in and she saw uh, out of the front, we've got our, our new 20, mm -hmm. 2022 potteries in. So we mm -hmm. were showing off some of the new styles. It was white. White is trending now. So mm -hmm. white, black, and textures and just imprinted. There's certain things. We'd, we'd shown those off. She had a holly in a beautiful white yeah, ceramic pot. Mm -hmm. She goes, I want that for my new house. I'm, I'm over, only been here one week. I want that inside my house. I go, well, that's great. You can't have that plant, but you can that <laughs> pot. Hollies aren't going to like the inside. Mm. They want to be outside. Yeah. But then we took that pot, put it on a cart. We said, let's go in and look at mm -hmm. house plants, tropicals that will grow indoors. Right. And we can keep that same style of pot with something similar. And she was mm -hmm. super happy. She walked, walked off with two, yeah. two things, not just one. Two pots so, and two plants. Yeah, so. she was super happy. Yeah. So some of the other plants that do terrific this time of year, uh, I was actually walking through the nursery yard and you know what stood out at me was the old gold uh, junipers. Yeah, classic. So that bright yellow on them this time of year is just really shows up nicely out there. Um and they get what about four by four, three not by four? Not even four, maybe three foot high, maybe two and a half to yeah. three foot high. They're below my hip. We've got some big ones, but they right. go really wide. So right. they're right. every put stretch your arms out and then even a little bit more mm -hmm. when they're really mature. Yeah. They just look so striking out there in the nursery yard. And yeah. our we like you said, we have some in the backyard of our house that I love. This time of year, you look out the back window and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Snow and ice over the pond. <laughs> yeah. I got to put the pond heater out. Yeah, anyway. Definitely. The birds would like that. But they really show up very dynamic out there. Um, some of the other ones that I think show up really well this time of year, too, are the hawthorns. Um, I love the hawthorns because they kind of get that almost burgundy. You keep playing with the screen. They get a real almost burgundy color to them with the green. So it's just very attractive to have that kind of winter color on them. Uh, keep their leaves. A lot of times they have berries. So they usually put on kind of a purpley burgundy yeah, berry, right. uh, which the birds love. So you're feeding the birds, but also gives you some more color out there in the yard. Uh, a couple of others that do really well is pyracantha. There again, has nice berries yeah, on big it. Orange berries, typically. Orange, orange or, or red. red. Yep. Both. Depending upon the variety. Uh, and they can take the cold just as well as anything else. You wouldn't really think that looking at them with yeah. their leaf, but they're, they're perfectly happy out in the cold. Um, Nandinas are another one that, Hey, they're like, yeah, it's cold. No big deal. I'll just keep looking Nandina, really cool. Actually they'll get red. Now they're starting to turn yeah. red because the cold activates the color in them. Right. So you start to get this red top to them. So they almost mm -hmm. become better looking in the cold. Right. Right. Camellias are another oh, one that have, have done surprisingly well. And a lot of them are getting ready to bloom. They'll probably be blooming, I'd say, in another month or so. Yeah, that's right. Jan so. Into January, February. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great ideas. So lots of lots. And all these plants, they're in. You've got oh, these yeah. now. We've okay. got them. We've got them. They're looking good. You can plant mm -hmm. them now. So if you're bored this holiday over the holiday break and you just want to get your feet dirty and Get some earth on your hands <laughs> and kind of touch some plants mm -hmm. or just come in and bring your cup of coffee and come peruse talk to the us. gardens. And we got nothing talk else gardening. <laughs> we love talking gardening with, with gardeners. Yeah. Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. Thank you, Lisa. Sure. We will be right back right after these important messages. <laughs> 